Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a clay heart with some roses. This is what your heart will look like and these are the, the roses and leaf that we will add later on. I'm also, you can see it easier from the back, I'm going to have a hole back here so that after your clay heart is all finished we'll be able to put some ribbon here and hang it. I'm going to set this aside so you can see what our very first steps will be to this project. The first thing you're going to need is a work surface for your clay. So you're going to take a board like this and I'm going to give each of you a slab of clay. You're going to need a rolling pin and you're going to need two rulers. We're not going to use them to measure anything. We're going to be using them because the thickness of the ruler is um, what we're interested in. So we're going to put the rulers on either side of our slab of clay and we're going to put our rolling pin on top and then you're just going to press and roll. Now you don't have to get it completely even with the, um, with the rulers. That's okay for this project. So now I'm going to just lift it up and I can even flip it over and put it in the other direction. Make sure that your um, rolling pin is in line with the ruler. The ruler is there so your clay does not become too thin in the rolling process. So that's good enough. So I can take this away and I can put my roller away. The next step of this is we're going to take um, a heart tracer and we're going to place it on the clay and just press it in and we're going to use a popsicle stick to cut. So all I'm going to do is take my popsicle stick and trace around my heart. Now you want to press down with the popsicle stick making sure that you're touching the bottom here and you're just going to, like you're drawing, around that shape. I kind of find it easy to do sections at a time. This part is the easier part. This extra clay we're going to uh, put up on my desk because I'm going to use that for something else. Now my clay shape is all ready. I want to just take my finger and maybe smooth out the edges while the clay is still nice and wet. And I just want to show you my clay heart again. And I want you to notice that this one that is dry, over on this side, there's no decoration. It's very plain. Um, this was just my example. I want to show you how you can add some texture before we get to the flowers over here. So, for some texture. I'm going to have different texture plates out at your table to use. And I'm also going to have different shaped dry pasta for you to use. You can use your fingers, you can use a popsicle stick to create your texture. I'm just going to make a bunch of random textures just so you get an idea of what is possible. So I'm going to start with the popsicle stick. I could take this and very gently I'm going to say, you don't want to be, if I'm just very gentle, it's not going to leave much of a mark. If I press down too hard, I'll use this piece of clay here, it's just going to cut right through and make a mess of your, your heart. So you want to press it firmly, but not too firmly. So you could make pattern like that. You could use this end of the stick to make something like this. You can take the pasta and just maybe you can roll it. These are wagon wheel pasta. The one thing about this, everyone wants to press it right down into the clay. Again, just very little. I'm going to show you what happens when you press it down into the clay. I'll go back to the scrap piece of clay. We do that. And then you're like, okay, how am I going to get that out? I, I can't get it out. And you end up 
ruining your project and then all the clay is stuck in here anyways. So don't do that. You're just going to press gently like that. And again, just thinking about textures you want to leave behind. Okay. Now the last texture I'm going to show you is um, the texture plates. These are kind of fun. You're going to take this and you lay it down and again you're going to press in. You want to press firmly but you want to, you don't want to press so firmly that you know you, you misshape, misshape in your heart. So there is that. I kind of like that. This was the snowflake pattern. Now you can add texture to your heart any way you would like. Okay. And I'm going to end here this video. <clears throat> the next video I'm going to share with you how to make the rosebuds and the leaves.